Hello Internet, and welcome back to Gixxas Adventures in Skyrim. Last time, Delphine asked us to infiltrate a ball, I guess, to figure out if the Thalmor were, uh, had anything to do with uh, ra um, raising dragons from the dead, from the graves, and we crashed last time, and I'm actually helping him escape from... And yeah, so come on, guy. Let's. Uh, can I actually pickpocket him? Okay. And there's a troll here. At least this time he's not like running away. Okay, you stay there. The idea now is to kill that. Get away, where I'm assuming the exit's right there, and to go back to Delphine and say, Hey, this is messed up. Okay, you're calm now. This is good. This is good. What? What am I using? I got uh, steel arrows. It's against a troll? Uh -uh. We're going using the big stuff. Okay, and um, potions. Stamina poison. Causes one point of poison damage for ten seconds. Weak lingering poison. I need something stronger. I don't even know. I I if. The troll has a way to reach me. And I wonder if there's a way for us to merely sneak by, but then again... He's not moving. So... Yes, it's all clear now. We're routed! Fall back! I'm not dropping down. This is suicide. Oh, that's... That's nice. I know I'm gonna get spotted when I drop down. Run! Run! Okay, now it's my turn. Ah! Okay. So, it was kind of awkward with the NPC not knowing what he was going to do. He was somewhat unpredictable. But we managed to complete escape the Thalmor Embassy. Talk to Delphine. Yes. So, hey, what's up? You didn't have to help me, so thanks. Recover my equipment? Wait, what? Didn't I have all my equipment already? Or does it just check like, oh yeah, I've done all of this. Uh, nah, 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 retrieve your gear, optional, it's done. Talk to Delphine. Good. So, he just runs off that way. And I suppose that's uh... Where am I going? Current location. Hey. Oops. Oh uh, no. 
Hey, I have to remove it. Remove it. No. Get get rid of it. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, remove. It's an awkward. Okay, so I am going. Yes, I'm going back to there because she's. I'm assuming back in solitude. So I have to walk all of that. I suppose I think I, I, I took a carriage all the way there, right? Yeah, makes sense. All right. So now we're just gonna enjoy the view and walk around. These guys again. Pester someone. Make sure it's the right person. Wow, your skin is dark. Foreigners. What a nuisance. What was that all about? They thought I was some other Red Guard woman. They just yeah. wouldn't leave me alone. I hope they get lost in the wilderness. Okay. Excuse me. So we got some ways to go. Like maybe this is a shortcut. Maybe. But I want to see the uh, the shrine because it's got that beam thing going on. Look at my temple lying in ruins. So much for the constancy of mortals, their crafts and their hearts. If they love me not, how can my love reach them? I think there's a word wall. Maria! Oh, okay. Scared the crap out of me. Okay. Restore to me my beacon, that I might guide you toward your destiny. Bring Murita's beacon to Mount Kilrith. Place the beacon. Uh, I don't have much info, lady. You're like, hey, I got a beacon, replace it, and I'm like, what? Okay, uh, this is really nice. I have to go all the way there, but there is a road. And there, there's this going on right there. Can I, can I talk to you? to return to Skyrim. But the token of my truth lies buried in the ruins of my once great temple, now tainted by a profane darkness skittering within. The necromancer Malkarin defiles my shrine with vile corruptions, trapping lost souls left in the wake of this war to do his bidding. Worse still, he uses the power stored within my own token to fuel his foul deeds. I have brought you here, mortal, to be my champion. You will okay. enter my temple, retrieve my artifact, and destroy the defiler. Get 
Yeah, I'm like thousands of feet in the air. Uh, tell me more about this artifact. I want to be nice. Mortals call it Dawnbreaker, for it oh, was yeah. forged in a holy light that breaks upon my foes, burning away corruption and false life. You will enter my shrine, destroy Malkarin, and retrieve this mighty blade. Sure. Of course you will. I have commanded it. Psh. Go now. The artifact must be reclaimed and Malkarin destroyed. You're gonna drop me down softly, right? Shut. But this is my temple and it responds to my decree. I will send down a ray of light. Guide this light through my temple and its doors will open. Please drop me down nicely. Gently. Gently. Okay. So, I'm looking at my map. And it seems like everything is over there. Yeah, okay, I knew it was near. That's why it was kind of odd that... Okay. Wait, how did I get... Ah. Okay. The entrance shouldn't be too far. There it is. I'm leaving such a nice vista. All right, Gilrith Temple. I haven't dealt with Daedra in a while. Well, that's Daedric Prince, Princess. Of course, I had to deal with the undead, but the pay is pretty good. I'm looting the dead. That's like a big no no. But they got look old. SMT. You're empty too? Okay. Okay, I can unlock that, no problem. Looking for a switch, but something tells me that this is the exit, and that the switch is on the other side. Then again, no, yeah, I think the switch is on the other side. Let's see if we can't spot it. We cannot spot it. Okay. But we're dealing with dark magic, so dark that we can see it. Seeming out of the floor. You are out of lockpicks. How am I out of lockpicks? Of course, I won't find more if I'm looking. But I'm out of lockpicks. Isn't there like a way to bash it open? Lady! The door is locked. Open 
skill menu to level. Oh yeah. I know I run out of stamina a lot, but I'm gonna try to be a little bit more efficient. So I'm gonna go 260 on that. And I got a point. That's always nice. If the target is asleep. Slowly harm enemies by placing poison on it. Okay. I kind of like the... Hmm. I'll come back to you because I like you. Automatically unlock a key. Like a, you know. Don't use any lock picks. I don't need that. Automatically gives you a copy of a th picked locks key if it had one. Okay, that's actually pretty handy. Go ahead. That's maxed out. Yeah, actually, it is not. Walking does not affect detection, and crouching stops combat for a moment and forces distant opponents to search for a target. Distant, distant opponents. This might actually be a really, really good... Mmm, tempting. Also tempting, but I'm not there yet, so I'm okay. Uh, pressing block while aiming will zoom your view. Got that. Core 60, so I'm not worried near that. All but the largest uh, opponents is 50% of the time. Arrow stagger. 10% of a critical hit that does extra damage. See, I could probably use this. Arrow shot. Critical strike. I think critical strike is better. That's primarily in my other gaming experiences that Critical Strike is probably the best debt to do regardless. Like it's a blind, obvious good one. Power attacks for one hand and cause less stamina. Dual wielding attacks, so I'm not dual wielding, so. And I also have block. Effective and multi power blast arrows hit the shield that do more damage and time is slowed down if you're blocking during an enemy's power attack. Really? So I can slow down time. So, what I'm going to do is go with archery. I kind of love the sneaking stuff. And the lock picking or the pickpocket. Oh, I need more points! I need more points. I really do. Increase discipline. Right. I need more points. Okay. How am I gonna open you? I don't have key. If you were a warrior, how do you open the door? Can you just bash it open? You have to go through this door. It's a nothing door, so I guess I am stuck here. Okay, so... Hang on. I can just continue here. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna... 